Dear friends, Palm Sunday, the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, marks the beginning of the Holy Week. As they made their way to Jerusalem, Jesus often spoke with his apostles about the suffering and cross that awaited him. He wanted to prepare them for what was to come. The apostles, however, were afraid. This year, in the weeks leading up to Easter, we as well have come face to face with suffering in a very tangible and quite extraordinary way. The daily updates on the spread of the coronavirus and ever-changing protective measures have made us all very personally and palpably a part of the overwhelming mystery of the cross. Our thoughts and feelings are steered by uncertainty, fear and worries for the future. Jesus was also afraid of suffering and felt mortal agony. But his love for his Father, whom he called in prayer Abba, Daddy, and the love for all men was stronger than fear and death. The cross is the greatest sign given to us by Jesus. It is the central symbol of our faith. Because the crucified Christ, through his death on the cross, triumphed over the evil. He transformed death into resurrection with the power of divine love. The cross is also depicted in the logo of A to the Church in Need. It is the true mission and DNA of our charity, which is committed to helping suffering and persecuted Christians. The more difficult the cross is to bear, the more charity we need. And so, even if the current crisis requires many small sacrifices from us and also brings with it great suffering for some, we should not contemplate our own wounds, but the cross of Christ and share our cross with the millions of other people who have always lived and continue to live in emergency and crisis situations. Let us also take refuge in Our Lady, the Mother who was given to us by Jesus from the cross. Let us pray faithfully her corona, the rosary, every day. She spoke to St. Juan Diego in Guadalupe already 500 years ago these comforting words. Nothing should frighten you, nothing aggrieve you. Let not your heart be disturbed. Do not fear this sickness or any other illness or anguish. Am I not here, I who am your mother? Are you not in my womb? Do you need more than this? Yes, her immaculate heart shall in the end triumph over evil. In the logo of ACN we see that the cross is also an arrow which breaches the wall of hate, of division and of evil. Per crucem ad lucem, through the cross to the light. I wish you all and all your families blessed and sacred Holy Week and Happy Easter.